Yeah, it's Big Show, and this is just a show, so when you figure out what the heck we're doing, we'll let you know, all right? I've got no clue. I don't have a clue. Does he look like you I'm nervous. You're not going to hit me, are you? No, I am thinking of a little man love, though. <laughs> oh. By a funny man named Pete Hackett. Yeah. Nice bring him out. It looks like it looks like right now you're uh, you're Larry the Cable Guy. Should I call Master. you Larry or you Pete? You can call me Larry, just okay. Larry, and uh, it's good to be here. As soon as I pulled up and saw my name out there in Magic Marker, boy, I tell you what, <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good program right here. It, <laughs> it is pretty good. Okay, now Pete, Larry, whoever you are. Why did you decide to impersonate Larry the Cable Guy? Well, I actually dressed up. I'm going to stay in character. Okay, for a yeah, you should. All right. And uh, yeah. I dressed up like him for Halloween and went out, and uh, people were thinking I was him, and I got up and did the voice, and everything just started to click. So uh, I had someone approach me and ask me if I wanted to do it and make some money, and I said, sure. <laughs> and so I kept doing it, and I've been doing trade shows and stand up and traveling around to do it. Beats the hell out of working. It sure I'll does. Right. Now, do you actually live by the philosophy of get her done? Do you actually live that? I try to. I try to. I try and be uh, cool with it. I've actually met Larry. Okay. First time I met him, um, I wasn't doing this the second time I was. And he was like, as long as you're a good guy, don't get in trouble with it. Didn't have at it. So, um, so you got the endorsement. I got the endorsement. Not official. I can't put it on the website or nothing, but I like to think of myself as the official Larry the Cable Guy impersonator. What do you think? Yes. Get it done, that's right. So, but I've got to ask, did anybody, when you weren't wearing the clothes, ever actually think you look like Larry? Like, a lot of people think I look like Brad Pitt and stuff, just like when I'm, when I'm out at the grocery store. Did people say you look like Larry the Cable Guy? No. No, they really didn't. I, cause, well, they recognized me because I've done a lot of before picture modeling. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> but other than that, you know, it, uh, unless they got the gear on, I don't really recognize me for now. All right, uh, Larry, or maybe, maybe Pete wants to handle this part of the interview. I'll go to Pete now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Pete, tell me about In Your Face Productions. In Your Face Productions, uh, we started about 12 years ago. Oh, it ago. is a different voice. It is a different okay, voice. Okay, it's yeah. gone. All right. And, uh, and I'm Pete now. Um, <laughs> about 12 years ago, we started it. Uh, I used to work in the casino business, putting together events for uh, the carded high-end players. Okay. And uh, found that the game show portion of things that we did really caught on. Used to bring in like Bob Eubanks and hosts like that to do it and... Decided to get out of the casino business and do it on my own. So we've okay. been doing game shows for corporate events and casinos for 12 years now. And uh, we've got a lot of other avenues that we do from that also. But In Your Face Productions, the only reason we called it that is because um, On Your Face Productions was already taken. <laughs> <laughs> so we went with the In Your Face. Okay, and so, and that would be another avenue where somebody could get... Larry the Cable Guy and your right. partner also. My partner, Bruce Cusick, who... Um, is spot on Jack Nicholson impersonator, okay. um, and we have other. He actually turned us down for the show, so he did. that's why we got he you. He did. He's kind of a, <laughs> you know, but uh, no, he's a great guy. We work for the Vikings. We do some stuff for the Vikings. I was uh, going to ask, what exactly do you guys do for the Minnesota Vikings? My uh, business partner Bruce Cusick is the PA announcer. He's the voice you hear inside the Metrodome okay. during the game. He brings the players out on the field. Again, and all that. way cooler than you. Very much cooler okay. than me. <laughs> Because that's, that's a sweet gig. Yeah, it is a sweet gig. And yeah. they, they were in a meeting when he was doing that job, and they said, does anybody know anybody that would sit in a dunk tank for two hours pregame and heckle people to raise money for the okay. Viking Children's Fund? And he said, yeah, I, I, I got a guy. <laughs> and uh, 
So I do. You're I, the guy. I'm the guy. Okay. So for five years, I've been sitting in a dunk tank on the plaza. Anybody been there out there? Eh? Yeah. Okay, so you actually dress up as... You know, I am the opposing team's jersey. Okay. The old-time leather helmet, and I got a microphone, and I tear people up. Okay, so and, say uh, uh, the first home game, is, is it against the Dolphins this year? Uh, the first home... I think it's Seattle. Okay, so say uh, say I come out, I see you there. What 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 kind of things would you say to me? Uh, to you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm out there. Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, Seahawk man. Uh, well, uh, probably one thing I would imagine you'd probably be wearing some gear. Yeah. Some yeah. Viking gear, mm -hmm. and uh, I would probably because you probably are a person that would be wearing Crocs, purple Crocs. Yeah, I'd be wearing the purple Crocs. <laughs> I would say, all right, we're gonna do a public service here, uh, Keith. I want you to turn around, look at the crowd. And I want everybody in the crowd, raise your hand, guys, if you're wearing Crocs. And none of them will raise their hands, and you'll be the only guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking, you, you, I don't even know what was funny about that exchange there. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking about planning a big party for just a show. So I call up In Your Face Productions. What, what, would, you, what would you think would make for a really good just a show like staff party. I think we do family feud type show. Mm -hmm. We customize all the questions okay. to be about you. Oh, good. Because that's what it's all about. Yeah, you're Mark right. King, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the questions tailored to Keith King, and we have a game show okay. where people compete against each other. It's all about interaction with us. Interaction keeps people involved in what's happening instead of sitting listening to a band. Um, I don't know what else they have at, you know, so, parties. So but. games, it could be anything from, like, Family Feud to Deal or No, no yep. Deal, those kind of games. Yep. In fact, we run a, uh, at Treasure Island Casino, we have a game show that's run once a month for the last four years. Okay. That we do once a month, and we get about 2,500 people there, and it's a takeoff on Deal or No Deal, and I'm Howie Mandel's illegitimate half-brother, Hardly. Hardly oh. Mandel. <laughs> and... <laughs> I see it now. Yeah. I see it now. People are like, you should shave your head. You look just, no, no. And I don't think shaving the head would do it. Okay, so now if somebody wants to actually get a hold of you guys, what's the best way to get a hold of In Your Face Productions? InYourFaceProductions.com. All the contact information is there, or just tackle me in the street. Okay. And I'll give you a call. <laughs> Hey, whatever works. All right, when you come on Just a Show, you get a treat. You get to do something called where we turn the tables and you get to ask me, Keith King, a question. But I don't want Pete Hackett to interview me. I would like Larry the Cable Guy Getting to just interview me. So, so here we are. It's the Larry the Cable Guy impersonator show. Hi. Hi, Keith. Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, Thanks for coming thank in. Appreciate you. it. Seriously, it is good to have pleasure. you here and uh, right here in my trailer. And okay. uh, I guess my question is, if this was your trailer, what would be the key centerpiece piece on display in your trailer that everyone would draw their attention when they walked in? The people would say, wow. A really big pink flamingo. That's awesome. Yeah, because you love the pink flamingos. That matches Very the classy. pink bird flamingo bird feeder in the front yard there. Exactly. Which I've been caught bathing in a few times in my lifetime there <laughs> myself. Or at least washing parts of myself. <laughs> you get the bonus question. Yeah, if later. this was my show, I'd have six bottles of beer up here, not one. Okay. And, uh, and you'd be naked. But that's a whole... <laughs> I ain't gonna go there now when I got the kids here and all that. Okay, can we bring Pete back for the uh, rest of the interview? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thanks so much, Pete, for coming on out. Thank you. In your face productions. Get in there, Pete, thanks. We're gonna go to a break, and we're gonna be back with more of Jester Show. This is John Cena, you can hear me sing. Check the CD, interview with my man Keith King. Yeah, that's right, yo, I'm colder than the winter. I'm about to blow the roof off the Target Center. Welcome 
back to Jester's show. Very funny man. Yeah, I have pizza, he is, hilarious uh, guy. He is very funny. Yeah, I'm not a he's big a, fan of the cable guy, he's, but you know. He's kind of funnier than you, actually. Yeah, I just had to say it. Who you know? isn't? Who isn't? So. No, yeah. Anyway, you had, you had some serious info? Well, yeah, just to get serious a little bit. Um, um, so some people may or may not know that I'm a part of a sketch comedy group in town called Flap and Crane. And uh, over the years, a number of sketches from Flap and Crane have appeared on Just a Show. And uh, a number of those sketches feature uh, one of the Flap and Crane members named Eric Page, who uh, recently passed away. And so um, he was also a stand-up comic who was uh, pretty popular in the cities over the last decade or so, and has been in uh, TV shows and, and movies. And so I just wanted to uh, take a moment just to acknowledge his contributions to the show, and also to being that he just doing what he did uh, very well, which is just making people laugh. So, and I think it's just okay to applaud it. because comedians yeah. kind of live on, you know, applause. Yeah. So. <laughs> well done. We're gonna go on the next episode, Doctor Lobanoff, who's gonna give me LASIK surgery. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>